nervous. It's crazy. I'm so nervous. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, my name is Abby, and today I'm going to be doing my second hospital and diaper bag video. This is my second pregnancy. I am going to be having a boy this time, so I'm all good to go. <laughs> if you guys would like to see what I bring to the hospital, please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the diaper bag. Okay, so I'm going to use my Petunia Pickle Bottom that I use for Melanie. For my daughter so on the side pocket I don't have anything here but over here I have sanitizer for my daughter and then I have um, I just discovered this lotion sanitizer that I I'm really liking because the sanitizer has gone my hands really bad So it's a uh, hand sanitizer and lotion all in one. So I'm put that to the side and then I have over here, I have the little tassel for the trash bags and then a tassel for his binky. Which I don't want to really, well, try to show you. And I got this one at Target. So you open it from here have his diapers and wipes. I know the hospital does give you that stuff, but I just like to be prepared. And then you open it, it looks like this. So I have, so for my daughter, I went all crazy last time and brought all kinds of stuff to the hospital and I honestly didn't use anything. So this time I am going to pack very, very minimal stuff. So I have a burping cloth, one burping cloth. <laughs> I have his onesies and one mitten and two socks. And these Ziplocs, I bought them at Ross for my daughter. And I just saved them and they work now. So then in here I have two outfits. And this is the outfit that I want him to wear in his picture. And then this is just an extra outfit. But I'll show you. I got his picture outfit on Caden Lane site. So basically it's like a wrap on, like like a knot, and then it comes with a little hat. See, so cute. And then under him, I want to put this blanket. It says Eddie Valentino, which that's gonna be his name. And I also got it on Caden Lane. So cute. I love it. Okay, and then just in case, I'm just going to bring an extra beanie and extra PJs. With Melanie, I went crazy. I went, I brought to the hospital so many things and honestly, I didn't use anything. I just took, I just changed it for the picture. I was so tired, I couldn't even think of changing a baby. <laughs> Especially it was my first time around. I had no idea what I was doing. Okay, so then I have, for Melanie, I also made a toiletry bag, and for him, I did as well. So this is what the toiletry bag looks like. I bought this bag at Target. I love it. I have one for myself and one for Melanie, so... I have white bees to like clean his binky or his toys, pacifiers, anything. And then I have a thermometer. I have lotion, extra trash bags, shampoo, nail clippers, a brush and a comb, and some gas relief drops. I always like to have toiletry bags in the diaper bag, guys. It's very important. So I'm going to have his letter board for his picture. So I have extra numbers and extra letters just to change it or add on to the letter board. And then over here, I just have his bottle. I was also forgetting a swaddle. 
So I'm gonna take a swaddle blanket as well. Okay, that's it for the diaper bag. I am gonna be taking my boppy. I use this boppy for Melanie and I'm gonna be using it again. And then I talked about this in, in Melanie's video as well. It's a briefcase. I have one for her and I bought this one for him. I loved it. Every time they gave me papers at the hospital, I just stuffed it all in here and I didn't lose anything. So it has for your um, social security, insurance, immunization card, birth certificate. Um, it has just everything in here. So it's very cool. I love to be organized, guys. <laughs> Especially papers that are important you don't want to lose. If you don't want to buy a briefcase, just have like a Ziploc bag or something that you can put all their papers in. Okay, so now to my hospital bag okay so I put everything in here I just want to be rolling stuff I don't want to be carrying stuff so um, I just decided on using this one it's a very small luggage and I just put all my husband's and my stuff in here okay so I am taking these cubes I bought these cubes about two years ago when I went on vacation and I used them for vacation and for my daughter and for when I gave birth last time and I love 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 these they keep you so organized and um, they're very affordable I bought them on Amazon so in here I have my postpartum waist trainers I bought it on Amazon as well and they're like it's like 20 bucks for all of these so it's very cool I use it for Melanie and which that's my daughter and I love them honestly it, they helped a lot so it just depends on how you feel and which one you want to take because I am trying to get back to normal as soon as possible okay and so in this bag I have and I am a bag person I love bags just like my mom so don't judge <laughs> okay so the first time around I had no idea what I was doing so this time around I'm kind of prepared and I kind of remember stuff so I'm just like going along with it okay so I have instant ice pack pads I did get a first degree cut with Melanie so I really needed these things when um, I had hers and the hospital gave me some but I just want to try the Freedom Mom. I've heard really good reviews. So I'm taking two ice packs and then the hospital does give you like a like a squeezer so you can rinse off but I found out um, that these are better. They have like um, like a twist to them so like it goes like upwards. You don't have to like struggle or anything. It just goes all the way up. So I'm kind of excited to use this one. It's also by Frida Mom. And it comes with a little bag. And then I'm bringing nipple cream. Which I love, love this nipple cream. It's organic. I bought it at Target. Don't mind my nails. I don't put nails on or gel or anything like that when I give birth. Because they say that the doctors want to see your nails just to see how healthy you are during the delivery. So I don't have my nails done. <laughs> I'm taking also Dermaplast. And again, the hospital does give you this stuff, but I just want to be prepared because I did get really cut last time and I don't know if it's gonna happen again. And I just want to be very prepared. So it's for pain, burn, and itch. These, this stuff is so good, like so good guys. And then I'm taking these diapers for me. <laughs> I'm taking about eight of them just because I did love them and I used them last time and I'm obsessed so much better than a pad and I'm taking nipple covers honestly um, I don't think it's really necessary because last time my milk didn't come in for like another week so I mean I don't think this these these are necessary but just in case my milk decides to come in sooner this time I have some Okay, and in this cube, I have one bra. I bought these at Amazon as well. I bought these last year for my daughter, and I love them. They unbuckle, so you can breastfeed anytime you want. You don't have to take off the whole bra, or even um, 
I've seen the ones that you just go like this. I don't really like them because I feel like they'll be like uncomfortable. But I mean, I had never tried them. So I just like these and I stuck with these. And then I used, I also use these with Melanie. They're high panties and they're really stretchable but tight at the same time. So everything can start going back to normal. I have one black one and one tan one. And then I have this. Then I have these which I'm obsessed. I used them all the time with Melanie and they honestly did help me. So, um, they're really stretchy but tight. It keeps everything in. I love them. So, I'm trying to take stuff that I already know what worked for me. And then in this cube, I have my coming home outfit, which is just a sweater just to throw it on over and then I am taking these shirts I got them at Amazon and the same thing it's like the bra that unclip breastfeeding friendly and they're very very tight from your body so I can everything is just stick back um, I didn't try these with Melanie so I'm kind of excited to try these this brand actually I did try these shirts this kind of shirt but not this brand so I'm taking two of those and then I'm taking leggings and then in this bag I have my shower sandals and then some slippers I am not gonna take socks because the hospital does provide socks for sure so it's not really a necessity for me to take socks. I did go to look for some and I, I couldn't find any socks that I liked or that had the little um, little balls on the bottom so you won't slip. And I know the hospital provides that for sure so I'm just gonna go with the hospital ones. Okay and I'm taking two PJs. I use these PJs with Melanie and I love them. I still use them all the time. They're very, it's very comfortable. It's a dress. It's breastfeeding friendly so I can just unbuckle and breastfeed. And then I'm taking this one, blue, because I want to take a picture with the baby. So um, I got it in blue, and this is a two-piece. Okay, and for my husband, I have gray cubes for him. So in this cube, I have some shower slippers as well. And then I have some slippers for him. I'm very nervous, guys. I'm a week away from my due date. Ugh, I don't know how this time is going to go. I just want my water to break in the shower and everything be perfect. <laughs> and then in this cube, I have just underwear and socks for him. And then in this one, I believe I have his PJs. Yeah. So I have um, just a shirt and then some shorts. Or pants so he can decide what he wants to do he wants to wear pants or shorts I want to be prepared for him <laughs> and then in this cube I have his coming home outfit so I have his guaraches easy easy peasy and then I have a white shirt and then I got him two shorts from H&M for these depending on what he wants to wear and last but not least, I'm taking this tote, which I took from Melanie as well. I have my toiletry bag. I have more nipple balm. I have Tylenol, lotion, toothbrushes. I have hairspray, Cetaphil cream. I have some a little bit of skincare, Lucerine, shampoo, and conditioner. And then some makeup. I am not going crazy this time. I'm just taking this and then a brush. And I am taking my camera. I am going to be packing chips and waters in Arizona for my husband um, and the letter board. Also, I am going to be taking our chargers. And this is a letter board. I have everything already done. I just need the date, the times, the inches, and the pounds. I'm very excited. So nervous. It's crazy. I'm so nervous. Okay guys, that's it for this video. If I missed anything in my diaper bag or hospital bag, please leave it in the comments below and I'll get right on it. I'll also leave all the links down below in my description box. I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.